Welcome back to Only Talk Sports, where we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. In the Big 12 on Saturday, there's a game between a team that is surprisingly undefeated in Kansas at 4-0. They're at home, and they're playing the Iowa State Cyclones, who are 3-1. Who do I think is going to win this game? Let's break it down. Matt Campbell, they're 3-1 as the head coach of Iowa State this season. And so far this season, Iowa State has beaten Southeast Missouri 42-10. They beat Iowa on the road 10-7 in a defensive slugfest that Iowa State held on and beat Iowa for the first time in a long time. And then they beat Ohio 43-10. And then they lost to Baylor 31-24 in a game that the refs weren't very kind to them. And Baylor did play well, but Iowa State couldn't get it done in that game. Quarterback Hunter Deckers at 284 yards, two touchdowns, and two picks. He's a good quarterback. He's replacing Brock Purdy, but he is kind of turnover prime as I've seen so far this season. He's thrown a lot of interceptions, but if he can keep the picks under control, he is a good player. Running back Jarrell Brock, 73 yards and a touchdown, and he had 17 receiving yards and a touchdown against Baylor. He's a good running back. He's replacing Brees Hall, and I think he's done a serviceable job. He's not Brees Hall, but he can play. So as you can see with Iowa State, they've done a decent job to replace what they had last year. Wide receiver Jalen Noel at 120 yards, and wide receiver Xavier Hutchinson at 84 yards. They do have a great receiving core at Iowa State. And on the defensive side of the ball, defensive end Will McDonald the fourth had four tackles. Defensive back Anthony Johnson had six tackles. A linebacker O'Ryan Vance had three tackles against Baylor. Iowa State's defense is playing pretty well besides the Baylor game they have not given up a lot of points but Baylor does have a good offense now on the Kansas side Lance Leopold the former Buffalo coach is now the Kansas head coach in his second season there's a surprising 4-0 Kansas not been 4-0 since 2009 Kansas fans are energized this game is at Kansas that's going to help with the fans so far they beat Tennessee Tech 56 to 10 they won at West Virginia overtime 55-42 in a game that a lot of people thought West Virginia would win, but Kansas did get the win in overtime. They won at Houston 48-30 in another game people thought they wouldn't win, and they got that win 48-30, and then they beat Duke 35-27. So Kansas is 4-0, and they're playing really good football right now. But can they go 5-0? and Quarterback Jalen Daniels, he had 324 yards and four touchdowns and 83 rushing yards and a touchdown against Duke. He is fantastic. Five touchdowns against Duke. He can run. He can throw. He is fantastic. This guy, I see why, they, like they said, Les Miles was starting him as a freshman. People were wondering why. But this guy can play. It just took him time to get to where he's at now, and he is playing fantastic football. He's very dynamic. He'll probably be an NFL quarterback if he continues his play. Running back Devin Neal at 54 yards and running back Daniel Hishaw Jr. at 61 yards and a reception for 73 yards and a touchdown. Only one reception for 73 yards, and he had a touchdown. Wide receiver Lawrence Arnold, 84 yards and a touchdown and wide receiver Luke Grimm, 63 yards and a touchdown. So Kansas's offense is clicking. They can throw. They can run. They got a dual-threat quarterback. It's looking very good for Kansas on offense. On the defensive side of the ball, cornerback Romello Dotson had eight tackles. Defensive end Lonnie Phelps had five tackles. A linebacker Craig Young had four tackles. So Kansas has given up some points this year, but they are scoring a lot of points. So all they got to do is score more than the other team to win, and that's the name of the game. So if their defense gives up a lot of points to Iowa State, all Kansas has to do is score more points than Iowa State to win, but can it be enough for them to go to 5-0? and I think that Kansas is going to continue the hot streak, and I think they are going to win this game. I think Kansas is going to win 35-31. to I think Iowa State can very well win this game, and Iowa State probably has the more talented team on both sides of the ball. But Kansas, to me, is just plucky. They have the great quarterback that no one knows about yet, but they will if he continues to play at his level. Lance Leopold, he's got his team energy. Matt Campbell is a great coach at Iowa State. And I think they can win this game. But I think Kansas is going to win because they just have more energy right now. It's at home, and I just don't think anything's going to stop Kansas right now until they start playing even better teams in the Big 12. Again, Kansas' offense, I think, is going to be able to score enough points on Iowa State's defense, just like Baylor did. And like I said, it's at Kansas, and that's going to help them out big time. And I think that uh, Kansas's defense is going to be able to do just enough to stop Iowa State's offense. It's not been bad this season, but I just think Kansas has a little bit more fight in them early in the season. And I think they're going to get this win 35-31. to 31. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about this Kansas-Iowa State game and who you think is going to win and why. And I will see you next time.